everyone. I am Savannah Kepley. I'm here in my mobile office to talk to you about a really simple activity that you can do with your students that are gonna, that's going to save you a lot of time and give your students immediate feedback, which is fabulous. So I don't know about you, but I hate grading. And so if I can find a way to eliminate it and help my students out so they can get some great feedback, I'm all about that. So what I have done is I have created a Google form that will immediately give my students feedback about their grammar. So I have in a previous video and I'll link that below, I talked about my basic grammar expectations for the classroom. And I want to make sure that we can apply those basic grammar expectations. But I didn't want to grade a hundred and like seven thousand papers. And so what I did is I created this Google form that will give my students immediate feedback so they can fix their mistakes before moving on to the next question. So let me go ahead and show you how to set up your own Google form so you don't have to grade a lot of grammar assignments. Here we go. Here's my activity that goes with the form. What you have to do first is you have to come up with some incorrect answers or incorrect sentences for your students. So what I did is I have 18 tasks which are incorrect sentences. So what they'll do is they will click on the task and they are given the incorrect sentence. For example, your tacos are amazing. It's written as our students would typically write. So what they have to do is to correct this on the Google form. So I have 18 task cards. You can create how many ever you want. So once you have all of your incorrect answer choices or incorrect sentences, you will need to create a Google form. Here's my Google form. I already have it set up with the image and the title. And in my first section, I always have students put their first name and last name so I can sort data a little bit easier. And from here, we need to click add a section. So we're gonna add a section and we need to title this section task number one or sentence number one, however you wanna title it. And you need to add the question. So it could be something like correct this sentence. And then you type in the sentence. I'm just going to copy and paste it from what I've already done. So I'm going to go over here, copy it, go here, paste it. Great. So we have correct the sentence. Your tacos are amazing. We go right here and we click paragraph. And then we're going to come down here. And we want it to the students to type it in correctly. So what you need to do is go to these three dots, click on it, click response validation. You're going to go to regular expression, change the next drop down one to matches, and then you're going to type it in correctly. So it will be your tacos are amazing exclamation point. Don't put a space after it or anything. So be careful with your spaces because it will count those as well. So your tacos are amazing. In this custom error text, this is where I put if they get it wrong, I want students to know that they can try it again. And I also like to provide them with a little hint or tip to help them. So I'm going to put try again. And then there are three errors in this sentence. And so that way, if they get it wrong, they can go back and say, oh, I have two. What am I missing? And maybe that will trigger something for them. Make it required so they have to get it correct in order to move on to the next sentence. So you have your first one done. And now you just repeat that process for all of the other sentences that you have. As you can see, I have done that here. Regular expression matches, I write in the correct sentence, and then the um, error message for them. So I have it for all of it, for all of my tasks. Let's see what the student side looks like. I'm going to click preview. And this is a good way to check to make sure that you did it correctly. This will be the first section that they come to. I'm going to type in my name, just like they would. And then I'm going to click next. So the task says, correct this sentence. Your tacos are amazing. So I'm going to say they do this. Instead of changing, they say your tacos 
are amazing exclamation point you can see oops i put my space there you can see that um they did not capitalize it so let's see if they count this correct nope it as it says try again there are three errors and they might see one i changed your i changed r what's the other error oh yes i need to capitalize that first word click next and it's taken you to the next sentence love it and they will repeat this process until they get all the way through the task path or the set of questions or sentences that you have for them let me go back and show you something really quick so when i type this i have a habit of putting a space after the punctuation if they do that it will count the incorrect so you need to let them know that there's no spaces after the punctu ending punctuation so that's all that's all you have to do to set up a grammar assignment that will be graded for you and provide your students with immediate feedback now if you're like this is amazing but i don't want to create it myself i get it i do have it available on teachers pay teachers so you can just check out that link below it's also available on ela unlimited so if you are an ELA Unlimited member, if you will just click the grammar section or I have it linked below, you can go ahead and download this resource along with all the other grammar resources that you see here and you'll be good to go and ready to have some certified grammar professionals in your classroom. If you have any questions, just comment below. Otherwise, until next time, bye.